Today is day three in the Peruvian Amazon at the Odorongo Lodge. Right down here, up oh there. wow! Wow! So that's how they were starting to cut with the chainsaw. This tree is over 500 years old, and about 10 years ago, the loggers came and tried to chop it down with a chainsaw. But the local village came and made them stop. And you can see way up here where they tried to cut it down, and it's already grown a ton. It is massive. <laughs> This spider is huge. Is it alive or is it's, it's alive? It's not alive. Oh, it's not? No, it's just the, uh, it just molted. We are on our way back to the lodge when Josias talked on the phone to one of his friends at this village that's not too far away. And so we stopped and we're having a little local snack before we go back for lunch. It may you just peel this out uh -huh. and then it's like a butter. And eat just the outside part. Okay. So the first thing we're trying they call butter fruit. You peel off the skin and then you just eat the top part of it and it's supposed to taste like butter. Yeah. It's pretty good. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of tastes like butter. Okay, this is the main dish that we came for. It is similar to a banana leaf and the inside is fish wrapped in yuca. Yucca is the root that they made the beer out of yesterday, but they've made tons of different things out of it. Like there's yucca cookies at the lodge. We had yucca crust pizza. So the yucca is on the outside, the fish is on the inside. They wrap it up and then they boil it all together. It was so good. There's bones in my mouth though. Now it's raining and we have to get back in the boat and go back so the camera is going in the bag. Now we're going back on the boat with Hoseus. What are we doing first? Fishing? Lily pads. Oh, we're going to like the lily pads. Really big ones. spotted a sloth at the top of the tree. These guys are so good at spotting stuff.
Got it. <gasps> Did you really? Yeah. That's what I <laughs> try. First what try. It? It's a uh, it's called a bokichiko or a prochiloder. It's a mud sucker. That is amazing. That, that's dinner. Yes. If I'm gonna be stranded in the Amazon and I get one person to take with me, I'm taking Hoseas. He's been telling us this week that he could spear a fish out of the water. We've had the spear in the boat waiting for the perfect opportunity. He didn't even say anything. He was just up front silent. I saw him pick up the spear, so I turned on the camera real quick. First try. Nailed it. That was awesome. Well, I'm going to pick. I don't want to waste a fish opportunity here, so I'm going to pick a leaf to try to throw the spear at. It just like, look how much it bends. How are you supposed to control that? I'm not going to tell anybody which leaf I'm picking, so why not throw it into the grass? Are you scared I'm going to hit you? <laughs> I don't even know how you get any power behind this. I was That's like a foot and a half off to the right. <laughs> he said if the stick's too strong or too straight, then it um, throws his aim off. He likes the bendy one. Try. Yeah, one more try. All right, I want to pick something to aim at this time. All right, I'm going to aim at that leaf in the water. Oh, that's not bad. That was really close. Oh, that was really close. Getting better. Before we get started, we want to say a special thank you to Odorongo Lodge for having us. This has been an incredible two days. Seriously, this place is amazing. We didn't get any special treatment. Every group gets their own guide and boat and you just do whatever you're into. So I feel like on this vlog we mislabel adventure a lot. We call basically everything an adventure. But this, coming to the Amazon, trekking through it yesterday, eating grubs, crashing the drone, drinking beer that had been fermented by somebody chewing it. Catching piranhas, this, sleeping in the jungle. This is a true adventure. It's been nuts. We haven't seen any other tourists either. That's it's just us in the locals. In the middle of the Amazon. We just finished dinner, we got to eat the fish we caught today, which was super fun. And we have one last adventure with Hoseas. We are currently searching for insects to feed the tarantula, which is somewhere on this tree behind me, but I'm scared to get too close to look for it. Behind, back right here. And that way the tarantula will see like it's not a, like it's still alive. I'm about to feed a tarantula a grasshopper skewer. Hey, little tarantula. Oh, gosh! That was so fast! <laughs> he, he grabbed that so fast! That was so freaky! I can hear it. He made a noise. Like a really scary, I'm eating you noise. That is so freaky. Found another tarantula. Ah! That was terrifying. I feel like another one could drop down out of this tree on my head at any minute now. Let's get out of here. This is how you know you've lived in the Amazon for too long. <laughs> Amazon tree boa. Oh my gosh. That is so scary. You could you could come down. I'll stay up here. No, it won't do anything.
I'm scared. Do it. Do it. Oh. So the truth is, this isn't a real spider. Well, it's real. It's very real. But it's dead. I'm still really scared of it. I'm gonna put it down. Okay, this is this is the last. <gasps> oh, that was good. No, it's not. <laughs> It's alive! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, see us, you got me! So you, can even, you can even see the pants. Yeah! And it looks like it's alive, for real, but it's just. Why are there so many big dead spiders? Well, I'm gonna try to get over here. Yeah, you can see the dead spiders.